Hey man, what you doing in there? You watching a YouTube video? For real? That's good, man. I'm glad you getting your sneaker fix in today. I'm glad you getting your Mike Rich fix in today. That's good for your soul. S O L E. Yeah. What it is, what it is, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? Uh, get a little crust out my eye. Hope everybody, each and every one of y'all, is having a blessed day today, man. Hope y'all are today. Early, technically early sneaker. Man, I just woke up from a nap. You know you get, I'm thinking I'm getting old. I'm thinking I'm getting up there in age a little bit, man. Cause your boy, I get out work, I be so tired, man. I be like, bro, I just need about an hour and a half and I be Gucci. You feel me? But I'm in this thing now. We got some technically quote unquote early sneakers. Um, I hit on the early access. Hold on, let me fix this. Fix this focus, man. Let me fix this focus. I'm focused, man. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. So I, I get on this early access on Nike. And let's go ahead and check these things out. I'm wondering, will this shoe possibly resell at some point? Will people actually get thirsty enough to get these as an alternative to another sneaker? And if they haven't given you enough hints in this video already, let's go ahead and get into the shoe. So this is, I guess, something new that Nike is doing. It didn't come, I got it off Nike, the regular Nike app, the black and white app. I didn't get it off the sneakers app, the white and red app. I got it off the Nike app. And this box says, we're offsetting 100% of the carbon emissions for this shipment. So I guess it's just specific shipment. They are um, offsetting 100% of the carbon emissions for. Don't know what that means really. Something about pollution, I guess. I don't know. So, uh, <laughs> or recycling maybe. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and get into this, man. Easy box to open. Anybody could have kind of got into it. Look at that. You know what I'm saying? That's one side and the other side. Oh, the other side got the little strip. So let's let's do the strip. You know what I'm saying? Open the um the, the baby cheese, the baby bell cheese or whatever. Let's open it. Got the strip like uh BSTN's boxes do. See if it works just as good. Really? Nike. Okay, let's start at the bottom. I'm gonna see if it works just as good. Okay, the bottom, the bottom one went. So it don't have that little plastic strip in the middle of it. So I don't know. Come on, man. Uh, so anyway, and actually you can, this is cool, so you can um, you can remove this tape right here and you can reseal the box unless you want to do a return or ship back or something like that. But anyway, these are Jordans, as y'all probably know already. And they still, how many of these boxes does Jordan Brand still have in the uh, warehouse, man? How many of these boxes y'all still got? Cause they just keep bringing these boxes back for like, it, like uh, random Jordans, team Jordans and all that stuff. And um, these right here come in these boxes too. So let's go ahead and get into these. Let's see. All right, let's go ahead and get them. Let's see what they look like. See if people are gonna actually buy this shoe or resell this shoe at some point. Let's see. And y'all will see why I say that with the unveiling. There you go. So in the box, okay, that's just on the camera. Let me see how they look in hand. Uh, they, now, they, of course they look good because it is a black, it's a mid top, but like, I ain't gonna count, like, a few years back, the Jordan 1 highs looked like Jordan 1 mids. We can do a slight bow with these, man, because the colorway alone, if nothing else, the colorway, and bow! The Air Jordan 1, get a little close up, a little focus on them thing. The Air Jordan 1, can't say OG high, Air Jordan 1 mid, black and red, bread, Whatever you want to call it. People's calling these band. Where we getting that from? I mean, I know the originals technically weren't banned. The airships was, but we gonna call these band now? I looked them up on what? Was it StockX? Or was it GOAT? It was StockX? And they said band is the name. I can't find the uh, underbred Jordan Mid. Um, and I checked that because I was trying to see if they were reselling yet. Not yet. They're like going for like 140 on there. And the retail was uh, 115. So, you know. You make you a couple of dollars, you know, enough to get a snack, a little meal, sandwich or something. But um, I was uh, they actually hit me with the early access on the Nike app, not sneakers app, but the actual the Nike app. And the only difference between, as far as color blocking between these and the uh, actual uh, OG highs is this little space right here on the lace, on the laces. If it was black, it'd be the exact same color blocking. I don't know why they ain't just go ahead and make that black, man. Just go ahead and make it black. And get people that make people's constellation prize a little bit sweeter. You're not giving me extra laces. You're not giving me that little uh, inch of extra collar or half an inch. Or high. It ain't even that high. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna actually grab my my uh, highs and just see how much higher it is. But 
and you ain't giving me premium materials. I mean, because this leather is is um stiffer than the backboard. But um, yeah, man. So jump man action on the tongue. Y'all know the mids is not gonna have the Nike Air on the tongue, but they don't they don't have the jump man on the back, so that's a plus. You know what I'm saying? Give you that more OG vibe. I love the black and red against the white mid, so it's like one of the my favorite co color combination combina combinations. Can't get it right. Tongue tie, but yeah, man. Let, let, let's go ahead and get a. I ain't even gonna do a whole different video for a comparison. Let's go ahead and get a look at the uh, the OG things. So uh, OG highs right here. Um, get a little closer look at those. Those are the OG highs. And the leather one just super super great on these. They had that black leather that keep getting that glitter type stuff on them. But then you got the the red leather was really really good on these. And see that's the difference, right? That's gonna be the main difference, right? That the red leather was tumbled, kind of soft. You know what I'm saying? Had the toe going real, real. Ooh, 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 plush. And then you have the mids right here. And like I said, it's like the reds, the reds are pretty much, It's. I mean the red on the OGs is a little bit darker. A little bit darker. This is the OG right here. The red on the toe, well you can tell by the lace. Like I said, the laces. Um, the red is a little, you probably can't even tell the color is different that, that much on camera, but it's a little bit darker in hand on the OGs. And like I said, the lace, they would just make this part right here black. Just make it black, black it out, shawty. And just make it like, like I said, man, people gonna buy this shoe as consolation prizes. And I'm, I know a lot of customizers gonna go ahead and go black with this part. They gonna, they gonna paint it black. But Jordan Brand, you know they gonna do that. Make it easy for us, man. Make it easy for the guy who like, you know what? I sold my bridge. I ain't got them no more. I'm gonna go cut these mids just to get that look. And you don't, you don't want them guys to have to be painting their shoe, man. I know I wouldn't want to have to paint these. You know what I'm saying? I'm still on the fence whether I'm keeping this shoe or not. I think I, I got early access. I went ahead and cop, wanting to do a video and kind of look at the both of the shoes in hand. Y'all comment below and tell me what y'all think. These are, of course, these king right here, boy. These thing king Kong, gorilla monkey. You feel me? Um. But I don't know, man. Let's see which one is, let me see if it's that much higher. Let's go ahead and measure. You know, we gonna measure, but we you know what I'm saying. It's higher, and with the higher cut, just gives it way more of a narrow kind of look. Just more, look more OG-ish, that's all. Just look more like what Jordan actually was. So it's a little higher, as you can see. Am I holding it up right? There you go. Just that little bit. Not even a whole lot. Like on feet, you probably wouldn't even be able to tell the difference that much, mid. Hi. Anyway, that's the Air Jordan 1 uh, mid black and red, AKA band, I guess. Uh, <laughs> these are these are dope, man. Like I said, I don't know if I'm keeping them or not. As you can see, this pair is still dead stock. I did have a pair of these that I wore a lot. I put a lot of use into them, but I um, actually, after wearing them a bunch of times, they still look really good. I sold that pair. Um, somebody made me an offer that I could not refuse. And so I just got this DS pair right here that I'm gonna pull out at some point when the world opens back up and I go on a trip or something. I always say that, but that, that'd be the truth. That's when I would like to wear my heat, man. So anyway, y'all comment below and tell me what y'all thinking about the Air Jordan mid black and red things. Um, you think these actually ever gonna go up and resell or you think people gonna get thirst for these or you think they gonna stay kind of low? I think after time go by every shoe that's a Jordan 1, I don't care if it's a mid or a high, especially if it's a pop of colorway, it's gonna go up and pray, man, you feel me? I will get these the clank, clank, clean stamp of approval on colorway alone if nothing else. I was always one of them people that was like, man, I prefer the, the uh, highs to the mids, but if you give me some dope material, I said, if you give me some dope material, which this is a little stiff, give me some dope material and a dope, really nice colorway on a mid, those be the reasons, some of the reasons we don't like mids. It, you already prefer highs over mids anyway, but then you're gonna give me the cheap leather and you're gonna throw little, little shots in, like, oh, you thought you had the bread? Ah, it was that close, you was that close, almost, but no cigar, you know what I'm saying? Throwing that little red on the lace, on the little lace line right there, what's going on with that, you feel me? Anyway, I still think it's a clean shoe. I appreciate y'all for watching this video. Comment below and tell me your thoughts, you feel me? Hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Hit the notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Then all the way up to the moon on them. Woo! I'm waking up now, I'm waking up. And keep watching my video, cause this what I'm here for. Gone. Mike, Rich, no hype, just kicks, Jordan, six.